North Kent County residents who live near a former shoe manufacturer landfill have PFAS levels in their blood that are higher than the national average. That is according to a newly released study from the state health department. The EPA has said that PFAS could be linked to some cancers and other health conditions. News 8's Byron Tollefson talked with those living near the site about what they've gone through and what they want to happen next. The results confirm what many who had lived right near this old Wolverine dump had always believed that their blood had high levels of PFAS. But while they say this study is a step forward, there's a bigger answer that they're still waiting for. When Sandy Winstelt bought her home in Belmont in 1992, along with her husband, Joel, they thought it was the perfect spot. Loved it because it was close enough to Grand Rapids we could still work, but far, you know, it was surrounded by a Christmas tree farm, and that's kind of heaven, we thought. But in early 16, her husband was suddenly diagnosed with liver cancer and died only weeks later. Not long after, she learned her drinking well water had been contaminated with PFAS. We were all very puzzled in the neighborhood, like where would this contamination came from? She later learned that the Christmas tree farm was being leased on the site of where Wolverine Worldwide had dumped PFAS tainted sludge for years. The source, the Scotch guard that the Rockford based shoemaker used for waterproofing. Wolverine has paid tens of millions of dollars in settlements and cleanup efforts. For Sandy, a test later confirmed that her blood had 750 times more PFAS than the average American. I don't live across from a Christmas tree farm now. I live across from kind of a potential super fun site. So um, it's done a lot. Sandy was later diagnosed with cancer herself. And while she has since recovered, she's turned her experience into advocacy, going to the White House and testifying on Capitol Hill. It's no longer about me. That train left the station ages ago. This is about future generations and how we're going to protect them. She was one of more than 400 people living north of Grand Rapids, with Wells having documented PFOS levels, which the state health department tested between November 2018 and June 2019. The newly released study found what Sandy had always known. Their blood had PFOS levels higher than national averages. Families who drank filtered water had lower concentrations of PFOS. Now Sandy wants the state health department to confirm that high PFOS levels are linked to numerous health issues like cancer or even autoimmune disorders. So I'm hoping the more we find those links, the more we can take action to like stop this at the tap. Like, let's not use this chemical anymore if we can't safely dispose of it. Public health officials are still researching its link to health problems for those who drink water in the affected areas. Meanwhile, the Environmental Protection Agency is working on coming up with national drinking water standards for certain PFAS. What will close it for me is when the EPA acts on this and stops it from getting in our water and puts in good, strong policy about that. That's what will bring closure for me. In Belmont, Byron Tollefson, News 8.